busy. More right out. Grandson's over visiting. I had to watch it for ten freaking minutes. And I'm big. So, we're heading over the hill for a minute. Let's grab the... Holy guacamole. Now, all right, let's, uh, I can always snap some branches and take this just in case for some light duty trimming. I see you got a big branch underneath the back tires. What else we got in there? Oh, not much. So old Grampy here experience with little ones. Here, we can get that branch right now. Oh, we really. Major confrontation with the wife. It's freaking humid out today. All right, just throw this up here, and the next time through or back or whatever, I'll get it with the mower. Gotta go in here and get a tissue. Oh, people are odd. Let's go over the hill. She's toasty out. Look at that. Hang on. Oh. Mask. Swing the leg in. There we go. Phewy. Let's get some air conditioning going. Alright. Let's see if we can get this on without a break today. There. Because I'm running out of... Uh, oh, seat belt. I'm running out of quickly 
those uh, little brackets that clip into that uh, holder I have on the dash. Oh, that looks nice. I took the weed eater out and I whacked around the generator in the front of the house and started in the back of the yard there <coughs> around the bird feeder and whatnot. And yeah, guess what? The battery died pretty quick. So if it cools off, I might come out and I might trim some more. We'll just come down here for a peek. See if we can figure out where to stick the camera now. And it's a little easier going in the Jeep than it is uh, ripping down here in the mower. Ooh. Three o'clock. And it's 25 degrees out. But temperature's going down to around uh, 5 degrees at night. And uh, we had a sample in here the other day of uh, how cold it can get a bit of a breeze and uh, it was cold <sighs> we got lots of little places maybe down here a bit And I've noticed that we've got an awful pile of coyotes running around, which is uh, hard on the uh, partridge uh, and the grouse populations. There, let's turn some cooling on. As we meander our way down the country road, not really a road per se, it's more like a bush road. So the camera's been in this location for two days. I got the butt end of a deer and a coyote on this camera. And uh, I think we'll move it. We'll check it out. But that's not a bad spot. That takes a Depends upon how far it can reach out. Okay.
Oh, yeah, I did a little weed whacking earlier today. Before that, I had the chainsaw out, managed to cut off a chunk of that big tree that's hung up. Whoops, guess we gotta switch gears here and put the seatbelt on. So anyway, I uh, put a couple of cuts into it, but the second one that the tree didn't come down. So it's still hung up again, but at least with a little bit of wind on it, it might move around a tad. Maybe the wind will blow it down for me. Well, please, please do that. Plus, oh, I cut the boards off of the old woodshed. I think I might have said that, but we had a long night last night. Bear decided he has to go to the bathroom at 3 o'clock in the morning. I couldn't get him in till 4 o'clock, 4.30. And then by the time he go back to bed, Might as well just stay up, call it a day. So I could lay there for hours without moving. Huh. And, uh, You just keep thinking and you just don't uh, get no sleep. And now we got the grandson here for overnight. And within 10 minutes, he had me wore right out. Too much drama in this old guy's life. Whoosh. So we're going to have to open up a spot or two right here, I think, just to see if there's anything coming around in here. Right straight ahead is the uh, wild animal grave for the property. Oh boy. not something I want to hit. Coming up here yesterday in the uh, the glare I couldn't see a single thing. 
this is where the moose is. They don't come out to the road much. Nice to have one of uh, old Cecil Skinner's old snowmobiles or two to come down in here. Just to make some, some trails. Right, I gotta, can't forget the camera. There's a few bugs out still, but mosquito season, black flies, horse flies, that's all gone now. There's a few mosquitoes. It's pretty easy to keep track of one camera, but if I had a whole bunch of cameras and I was moving it around like a lot of fellers do, I'd lose them for sure. Okay, so we already had the camera around here. Let's move down towards the, the end of the road here. See if we can get ourselves a little bit better of a spot. I figure down here somewhere. Well, this would be a good place for a moose in there. Let's go here. Now, we have to have it pointed straight ahead from there.
304, I gotta get something to eat. The battery is doing very good. Okay, let's go. That should be in a good spot. Right by the old beaver down. And I sure hope I don't see no beavers on that. Keep that open on the right hand side there where we just went by because that's a place of uh, I can get gravel and stuff like that. There's a kind of a mound there. They use it for fixing the road and whatnot, potholes. it's a little soft in here so I'm going to have to investigate that because if you keep driving over the mud it's just going to get muddier and that usually means you end up with a, having to buy a culvert I don't want to do that because I got to hire a guy with an excavator because there's no way in hell's bells that I'll ever be able to dig that up by hand. I 
I am tempted to go tie a rope up to the deck and uh, lower myself on the side hill there with the uh, weed whacker just to knock some of that stuff down. The boys have got themselves a patch of burdocks in here. I don't know where the hell it is. They're continually hauling it up to the house. And it's kind of neat how that burdock works, because if you just crack it open, the seeds just come sprinkling out, and they're ready to grow. And of course, if you pick it up in the wagon, like you cut them and put them in there, if any of the seeds pop open, it gets kind of buried in the debris at the bottom so that when you dump the, the cart, you just freshly uh, transplanted a whole bunch of more burdocks. Thanks when it's mowed, eh? And hopefully, I won't, I'll, if it, if at all, I'll have to cut it once more. I don't want to cut anymore, but I'm getting tired of mowing. Well, not really. Thanks for coming along, and if there's any uh, pictures of animals, I'll put them on the end of the video. If you like the video, please press the like button, and share it with your friends. And, uh, welcome to a little bit of paradise. There we go. Have a good one. That's all, folks. I'll be back.